catfishing story ends with a happy twist. While other women who got catfished online ended up in tears, one lucky gal's catfishing nightmare led her to find her dreamy, happily ever after. Emma Perrier joined matchmaking app Zusk in 2015 and met a hot Italian named Ronnie. The two hit it off spectacularly, only Ronnie was really a balding 53-year-old divorcee named Alan Stanley. Stanley was a serial catfisher, and Ronnie was one of several personas he'd used over the years to bait women into online relationships. The two chatted for six months, forming a romance and exchanging I love yous without ever meeting in person. Perrier set out to investigate after growing suspicious of Ronnie's excuses, eventually finding out the identity of the man in the photos and the man she was actually talking to. Stanley tried to cover up his lie at first, but ended up confessing to his duplicity. The real Ronnie turned out to be Turkish model Adam Guzal, who Perrier decided to hit up to warn of the catfishing scheme. The pair began messaging back and forth, and pretty soon sparks were flying between the long-distance lovebirds. Guzal flew to London in January 2017 to visit Perrier, and the deal was sealed. The two have now been in a relationship for six months and are living together in London. Ironically, Guzal is auditioning for Aladdin, which one paper called the original catfishing story. Aww. Teens survive lightning strike because they were holding hands. Love is electrifying, in this case, quite literally. A California teen couple was out getting a burger last Thursday when they were struck by lightning, but amazingly, they survived. Dylan Corliss and Lexi Vargo were walking along the tree-lined streets of Claremont one day, hand in hand, not noticing an approaching thunderstorm, when lightning suddenly struck the two lovebirds directly, slamming them both to the ground. Uh, does Mother Nature frown upon public display of affection? Terrified, Dylan and Lexi got up slowly, confused as to what had just happened and were <clears throat> shocked when a passerby told them that they had just been hit by lightning. Later, their doctor told them that they survived the lightning strike because they were holding hands, thus diffusing the electrical current that ran through their bodies. Dylan and Lexi were unharmed, save for minor headaches and some muscle pain. Guess this was a spark in a relationship that they didn't ask for. Ah, uh, young love. Best photo bomber ever. An adorable old lady melted the internet's frigid heart with her delightfully candid reaction to a woman proposing to another woman. Jess Rodriguez had planned a public proposal to her long-term girlfriend at the Art Institute of Chicago, which one unsuspecting museum goer had front row seats to. The romantic proposal thrilled the older woman, who was snapped with a look of pure joy and excitement on her face. Rodriguez and her fiancé didn't even notice the lady's reaction firsthand, only spotting it in the engagement photo later on. Her brother put up the heartwarming scene on Twitter, where it soon went viral, and made 95% of the internet collectively melt into a puddle of goo. 2016 might have showcased the worst of humanity, but in this instance at least, love wins. Loving husband lists things he loves about his wife, who struggles with depression. Tim Murphy, an engineer based in Los Angeles whose wife is struggling with depression, decided to leave an incredibly sweet note on his wife's mirror. In the note, he made a list of all the reasons why he loves her. The list goes, She is my best friend. She never quits on herself or me. She gives me time to work on my crazy projects. She makes me laugh every day. She is gorgeous. She accepts the crazy person I am. She's the kindest person I know. She's got a beautiful singing voice. She's gone to a strip club with me. She has experienced severe tragedy, yet is the most optimistic person about humanity I know. She has been fully supportive about my career choices and followed me each time. Without realizing it, she makes me want to do more for her than I have ever wanted to do for anyone. She's done an amazing job at advancing her career path. Small animals make her cry. She snorts when she laughs. He wrote it while she was away on a trip in San Francisco, during which she felt particularly down. When she got back and went to the bedroom, she found the note on her mirror. She then took a picture of it and posted it with a message on Imgur. I'm not saying mental illness is cured by nice words on a mirror. In fact, it takes professional care, love, empathy, and sometimes even medication just to cope. Many people struggle with mental illness, more than we probably even realize. Show them kindness and remind them things can and will get better. 
everyone needs a little help sometimes. If that person can't be you, see if you have any resources for therapy, she said. It may just be a few words on my mirror, but I'll look at them when I wake up and know I'm not alone. I'll know I have my best friend, my co-pilot in life, to help guide me through. Aww. A woman who lost a limb in the Boston Marathon bombing has found her happy ending, and it's with the man who saved her that tragic April day. After Roseanne Sedoya's leg was destroyed in the second explosion, a firefighter came to her aid as she lay bleeding on the street. He visited her at the hospital where she was recovering from an amputated leg, but love was the last thing on her mind. Her mother, though, saw a son-in-law in the handsome firefighter. And because mom knows best, the survivor struck up a friendship with her hero that soon turned romantic. In December 2016, firefighter Mike proposed in Nantucket using a special engraved tag on their dog to pop the question. The two are set to tie the knot in a small ceremony in October or November.